Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's football game. Austin Anderson here live calling this one here on the IHSA.TV network. Today's matchup is between the St. Edwards Green Wave and your Westminster Christian Warriors. The Westminster's first ever homecoming game. This is technically classified as a JV football game. We are also broadcasting the volleyball game live tonight and the soccer game tomorrow. And now the national anthem. Although you couldn't hear the national anthem, it was very well performed by the Blues and Barbers ladies. And we are live here at Warrior Field. The police are ready to bust through the Warrior sign here. And just another reminder today that right now we're doing the football game at 7 o'clock with the varsity girls volleyball game. And tomorrow, and tomorrow at 11 will be the soccer game. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, we will, and now here will be the, uh, the players are going to go through the. We're going to hide the. We're going to hide the uh, score thing for you. And now here come the Warriors through the. Now they're going to come through the. The banner with a roar of applause here, as the Warriors take the field. Once again, I'm Austin Anderson on the call. Glad you could join us. Right now we have John Warrell on the stats and Colin Sunis on camera. Thank you for joining us. The Warrior Fight Song's being played. We have four refs on the call today. Many thanks to all of the tech, tech people here and Athletic Director Mr. Palmer that we were able to put this on. Internet streamed live through outside here. We've got a nice uh, contraption put up here. And it's a little behind, probably. I don't know. We've been given word. We've been given word that the mobile app might have a few, might be a little bit delayed here. The computer we've tested out has been about a second half delay, but the mobile app might be a little bit behind, so we'll see what happens here. But either way, we have football. 
The captains are meeting at, center, at a midfield. And we'll take a three second break here before, as the captains foul the field. We are back live, and the kickoff is about ready to happen. The Warriors will receive. St. Ed's is kicking off. We are live here. Live football here on a gorgeous but yet cold 
It's great football weather, but it is cold as cold as it can be for a November night. No. Kicking off for St. Ed's is number 10, Joe French. A sophomore kicker and defensive back sends it deep and we're underway. Taking the return but dropping the ball to Sean Bloom. He picks it up with a 19 yard line, brings it out to the 28 yard line, is taken down there. And it'll be first and 10 Warriors from there. This is Westminster's second home game. They had one earlier in which they lost to Christian Liberty by 10. The clock's counting, we have a portable clock. 9.51 left in the first quarter, no score. 9.51 left in the first quarter. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Quarterback takes a snap, I believe it's Clay DeHaan, hand off to the left side, Will Rapton with it. And he's going to get to the line of scrimmage, if at best, but a flag on the play. Might be a horse collar against St. Edwards. We'll see. Three flags on the field. Let's see what the call is. Face mask gets the call. 15 yards and a first down for the Warriors. Although I won't be announcing the Powder Puff Moms game at halftime, I will be refereeing it, but our crew will be broadcasting that for you as well. I'll actually be a referee. No one really knows that, so in TV Insider's first call on that. First and 10 from the 43-yard line. No, excuse me. Ian Murlack is the quarterback. I mentioned Clay DeHaan. It is Ian Murlack. From the 43, takes a snap. Hand off to the right side. And... Now Clay DeHaan, the running back, will get to almost to the 45-yard line. It'll be second down and seven. Second and actually more like eight for the Warriors. Nine minutes and counting left in the first quarter. No score. This is really an event, folks. There's a lot of things going around, and the athletic department did such a great job getting this to go. A pitch to the outside. I believe it's Ratchin. He's going to get a lot of yards. Ball's down. There's a fumble on the play. It looks, I believe the Warriors got on top of it, but we'll see. No, they did not. St. Hedges has the football. The Crusaders recover the football. The rough and tumbling must have been enough for sort of the... St. Ed's team to get the ball. The Crusaders will have first and 10 from the 47 yard line. Warrior faithful standing. They are not sitting on the bleachers. They're getting as close as they can to the yellow cones as far as they can go up. First and 10 from the 47 yard line. The quarterback is number 11, Brian O'Neill. A sophomore quarterback and defensive back. Two running backs in the backfield, one receiver out. Hand off up the middle. Good defense there. As a whole host of Warriors come into that tackle, led by number six. Nick DeMera, actually 24, was on top of it. Michael Sleeting also went on the tackle. Second down and eight from the 44-yard line. In event of rain, we'll try our best to keep the broadcast going, but we are in open air, exposed with frigid, but electrical items that could be damaged with wetness. It's a very, very, very light sprinkle, but we'll, we'll keep it going. Hand off to the left side, and being taken down! Michael Sleeting with that one. He already has two tackles in the game, maybe one and a half. And it'll now be third down 
And about six. 7.27 and counting left in the first quarter. We are playing 10 minute quarters here on this frigid Friday afternoon. Couple of wideouts, two running backs in the backfield. O'Neill will take the snap. He takes it, hands it, no, fakes the handoff, goes into bootlegs, in trouble, and he throws it away. Is that intentional grounding? They're saying there wasn't intention, there was a receiver there. It is fourth down. No, they're saying he is sacked. They're gonna say he was sacked. The quarterback was down. So they do give credit for the sack, give Travis Battle the sack. And fourth down and 11 now. The deep returner here. That's a fake. They're going to throw to the right side. And it's incomplete. No flag. No flag. Looks like he was touched first, but there's no flag. Coach is giving the referee a word about it. First and 10 now for Westminster. It, there is a very light sprinkle, so we should be able to keep going here. But in the event of a larger sprinkle, we'll have to figure out something. Might have to be a suspension of the broadcast. Fortunately for volleyball, there shouldn't be inclement weather, but we've seen stranger things have happened. First down and 10 from the Warriors, 48. Flag on the field, probably encroachment. Let's see. Yep, offsides on the defense. It had been encroachment because the quarterback did not snap it yet, and then you ran into the defense to the offensive player. It'll be first and five from the 47 of St. Ed's. It is a wet one here, very light rain, but we're braving it out. Here's a snap to come. Oh, another flag. Let's see who went this time. Might be St. Ed's again. Yes, it is. Offsides again on St. Edwards. Give a move the chains, and it's another first and 10. First and 10 now from the 42. First down for the Warriors. St. Edward's team is compiled of freshmen and sophomores. The Warriors are uh, compiled with all four grades. First and 10 from the 42. Murlock to take the snap with a wide receiver out and two backs in the backfield. Now the running back comes into motion and he fakes the handoff. It's a bootleg. It's going to be an option chance. And to the hot, he's on the left side. There he goes. 30, 25, 20. And taken down at the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Warriors. Good old college option play there. Tim Tebow-esque with Ian Murlack over on the left side to Clay DeHaan. Moving the chains and it's first and 10 for the Warriors. Hard to tell from, we are positioned actually about the 15 yard line of the Warriors on this side, switching out obviously in the second half. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to see for the announcers on the other side of the field. But we're going to give it a first and 10, pretty easily determine the 20 yard line. Wide receiver, the two wide receivers out, battle to the right. Now to the left is number 46, Marcus Grossman. And it's going to be a handoff up the middle. DeHaan breaks one tackle but gets swarmed, but the defense pushes him up. We got a couple of yards. It'll be second down. And he actually is going to get a decent gain of five. I was going to say four. Public address says four, so we'll go with that. Second down and six. 537 counting left here in the second quarter. 
A lot of music going. At halftime will be the there will be a cheerleading sketch and also the mom's powder puff football game. Very entertaining. I happen to be one of the rest. Bootleg to the left side. Throw. Caught. No. Dropped to Han. He had it in his hands. And he's running away from the football and dropped it. The bootleg has worked for the Warriors now three or four times, causing St. Edward's defense to spread. And they would have had, they would have had a positive game. They were probably close to a first down. The question is, are the Warriors in field goal range? It's awfully close. We did not see a field goal attempt at the first game. For his home game. Big weekend of broadcasting here on the IHSA.TV Warrior Network. Right now is the football game. Tonight's volleyball game, 7 o'clock. And then in the evening, and then Saturday morning, well, at 11 o'clock will be the soccer game. We'll go live as well, weather pruning. Hand off to the right side to Hans. First down and more. All the way to inside the 10, inside the 5 is the end. Touchdown, Warriors! Clay to Hahn. Give him a gain of 15 for the score, and the Warriors take a 6-0 lead. Demera will probably come in to take the point after. Very good kicker for a freshman. Demera. Actually made a couple of field goals last year. In, a, as in the middle school. So this should be relatively doable for the freshman. Six nothings to score. This will be for one. And they're waiting to snap. Now they're cleared. And snaps down. Placement kick blocked. Or just shanked apparently. And the score will remain six to nothing in favor of the Warriors. We'll be back in a second here on the IJSA.TV Warrior Network. Six nothing Warriors here on the IJSA.TV Network. We're back here on the IJSA.TV network. In the background being played is the Chelsea Dagger, best known as the Blackhawks goal song. But sadly, there's no Blackhawks season to be started yet. Thanks, NHL, Play Association, and the owners. Kickoff from Demera, a squibber to the left side. Might roll out of bounds. Will it? It appears it will. Flag will be thrown. Ball will be placed, I believe, at the 35-yard line in the high school level. And that will be a first down for... Yep, that's where we're going. 35-yard line. First and 10 for St. Ed's. This game is live and on demand afterwards. Same thing with the volleyball game and the soccer game. All to be on YouTube as well. The YouTube site, if you'd like to see this and other games, is search Play On Sports Network, I believe. Oh, they offered, they elected to re-kick. So St. Edward's elected to re-kick. They didn't like the 35-yard line. They have more trust in their returner. Demera to kick off. And the kickoff is high in the air. It's going to stay in play. Oh, it's going to go past the returner. This is going to be way in favor of the Warriors. He might be tackled inside the 20 here. The return makes a couple of cuts and take it down. Apparently about the 11 or 12-yard line. i got to see where the referee. 
They're gonna yep, in her spot with the ten. So first and ten, St. Ed's at about the ten yard line. First and ten for St. Ed's. O'Neal to take the snap. Wide receiver out to the right. And snap. It's going to be a pitch to the left side. Good defense from the Warriors. And he is well, he popped out to the right side. It's hard to see, but he's getting some positive yardage all the way out to the 25. Hard to see. I mean, I was decoyed by the fullback, who I thought had the football, but apparently the running back, the halfback, bounced outside, and they're going to get all the way to the 23-yard line. First down and 10 for the Green Wave. They are not the Crusaders, as the Pee Wee football St. Edwards team is called. They are the Green Wave, as the rest of the high school is. A couple wide receivers, four actually, three to the right. Probably expect something going on to the right. And actually, the quarterback lost the football. He's got the throw to the right side and almost intercepted. It was almost caught and then almost picked. Trying to get the reception there was 15. Demero almost with the interception there. It's second down and 10 from the 23 yard line. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything, but the rain has stopped. For second down and 10, O'Neal to take the snap. Again, same formation, one to the left, three to the right. Cover two for the Warriors. Two-step drop. Now throws over the right side, batted, and dropped. Nice deflection there, I believe, was by number 46, Grossman. I think Grossman got into there. And it's third and ten. Three fifty-five. Clock is stopped due to the incomplete pass here. First quarter. Taking the snap to be O'Neal. Couple wide. O'Neal with it. Dropped the ball, I thought, but he picked it back up. He's looking, surveying, in trouble, and he's on the run. Throw over the middle, and it's picked off! Picked off to Mayer on the right side, and on the deflection, and first down for the Warriors going the other way. Can't blame the quarterback. Good throw, just right in the middle of the receiver's hands, and picked off. It'll be first and ten for the Warriors. Probably the highlight of the school today in the high school was that the seniors won the Spear Cup. We are actually, I'm in possession of right now, and it's actually being used as a weight for our papers so that they don't fly away. It's Stanley Cups used for many things. How about the Spear Cup? I mean, it's right now a paperweight. I mean, there's loss in the play, almost five in the loss. 3.30 and counting left in the first quarter, 6 nothing Warriors. And taking the snap. DeHaan is actually in at quarterback. Might be some wildcat. No, he's looking to throw. He's in trouble. And down he goes. He's lucky he held on to the football. That's a huge loss in the play. Almost to the 45-yard line. It's going to be third down and 25. Either that or eternity. I'm not sure, but long way to go for a first down.
It'll be third down and long. Clock is still running since the play stayed in bounds. There's 2.17 and counting left in the first quarter. The clock is a portable clock in the west end zone in someone's back of their SUV. Very creative. And fakes the handoff. A screen to the right side. It's going to be in front of DeHaan. I mean, excuse me, uh, Bloom. Deshaun Bloom. Incomplete there. If he would have got it, he might have had a little more room to run, but oh well. 2-0-1 left from the first. There is no, excuse me, 6 nothing lead for the Warriors. The student section for the Warriors is very large. Taking up the whole half of the field and probably a good three-fourths of the school. Third down and long from the 45-yard line. Way long shotgun. Excuse me, that must have been fourth down. They're punting away. And Travis Bounce is going to try to down it. It's taking a great roll. And, oh, he gets it down. Oh, they're gonna, is it, oh he touched it in the end zone. So close. Great pump by Demera. 45 yards. Excuse me, that was Clay DeHaan in the punt. Getting correction. Good pump by DeHaan so far. The Warriors have kind of used a uh, rotating carousel of punters. Travis Battle used to be the punter. Now Clay DeHaan's getting his chance. Warriors faring well. It's a 6 nothing lead with 1.52 left in the first quarter. O'Neal waiting for the snap. Two, three wides out and a running back. He takes the snap. Makes the handoff. No, he actually does can it off. I'm, I'm getting really fooled down there in the opposite end zone. Hard to tell, but a long and huge run. Close to the first down marker, and yep, that's enough. The line judge gives, grants him. First and 10 from the 30-yard line for the green wave. O'Neal to take the snap. O'Neal to take the snap. It's first and 10 from the 30-yard line. In the shotgun with one wide in the pistol. One man in motion. Two wide out. Hands off to the left side. And they had the Warriors fool, but a nice recovery there. Minimal gain, maybe one. Michael Sleen with his third official tackle of the game. Second down now. Minute left and counting left in the first quarter. One minute left of the quarter. And the quarterback O'Neill will take the snap. Second down and nine. And it's going to be a QB option. He's going to take it himself. And winding through the deep. Lost the ball. It's loose. Who has it? Picked up by the Warriors, and they're saying he's down. Dolman recovers and is down at the 34-yard line. First and 10 for your Warriors. That's going to be Warrior football. Warriors. First and 10 for the Warriors. Ball we place at the 35-yard line. Drew Dolman with the recovery. And it'll be first down and 10 from the 35-yard line. Warriors up six. Ian Murlock at quarterback. 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Clock will start with the snap. Under five seconds off on the play clock. Man in motion. Legal. Almost, there wasn't two. And a handoff for Rastrian. Give him a yard. And that will probably do it for the first quarter. And that is, that is the quarter. So we played one. Your score after a quarter, 6 nothing Warriors on the IJ.TV network.
We're back here, second down and eight for the Warriors. Really chilly day. It's a pitch to the left side. How oh, my throw? It's a trick play, but he's going to be wrapped down before he has a chance. The ball pops out, but it stays with the Warriors. He lost a lot of yards here, and it's going to be third down and long for the Warriors. Third and long here for the Warriors. Third down now. And very long. 20 indeed. Barry take the snap here is Murlac. One player in motion. Fakes the hand. No, he actually does give the handoff. And being stopped for a minimal loss will be ratchet, and the Warriors are going to be forced to punt again. It's going to be fourth down here. We'll take a break here after the punt. And a nice rugby-style punt for DeHaan. High in the air, not too deep. This ball's going to keep bouncing for the Warriors. And it touches battle at the 17-yard line. We'll be back in a second here on the Warrior Radio Network. The Warrior, excuse me, the IHSA.TV Network. 8-19 left here in the, in the first half. We're back here, passing the flank to the right side. Ball's loose. Completion, but the, the referee says he's down. Minimal gain about three, and it will be second down. And long, we'll say seven. Sorry for the delay there. I had to get we have a lot of things going on here today. Now I got to get ready to referee this. Mom's powder puff game. And if I'm back a minute late, you'll still have the feed. I'll apologize for late. Second down and seven snap. New quarterback. Hand up the middle and a nice run. And breaking the tackle, he's gone. See you later. Number 15 has just scored a long rushing touchdown. That will be Patrick Brown. The quarterback now is number four, Joe Mullen. They switched quarterbacks, and that so far it's worked. And the lead now has been completely trimmed. It's now 6 6. 7 18 left in the first half. PAT attempt to come by number 10. And this could be huge later on in the game, Joe French. Snap down, placement kick, up, and good. And the ball gets lost in the woods. <laughs> Hopefully they have a backup football because that ball isn't coming back for a while. And, and now the, uh, the chain gang person member is now going into the woods to try to chase after the ball. This might be an entertaining sight to see. And they might have come up with it. Have they? They have. Look at that. The chain gang has successfully gone into the woods and found the football. Very successful there. And the Warriors now trail 7-6 to six here on the IHSA.TV network. We'll keep it here since the Warriors are ready to kick off.
Glad you could join us here on the Warrior IJ.TV network. Again, a reminder, later tonight, volleyball, 7 o'clock. Might be 7.30, I had to double check. I think it's listed at 7.30, but it could be a flexible time between 7 and 7.30. But we'll be there either way. Seven, six is the score in favor of the Green Wave. Seven, eighteen, and counting left here in the first half. Austin Anderson here live. Thank you for watching. We're live, and it will also be on demand. And now the kickoff to start the Warrior possession. Sean Bloom heading back. He might just let this one go in the end zone. Oh, it's going to land at the one. No, but the referee said it got in. Thankfully, it did, or else the Warriors would have started inside their 10. First and 10 from the 20 for the Warriors. If we have a spare time, I will let you know the rules, actually, for the flag football powder puff game. Since I'm the ref, I know the rules. I have them in my hand, and I'll let you know as we have spare time. Have a little fun up here in the booth. Well, actually, it's not even a booth. We are literally on top of the first base dugout, folks. I mean, this is... It's, it's hard to believe it can hold this much, but we're making it useful, folks. I mean, th there is a full PA system, five people... To well, five people in the PA booth table, two people on the other table, three people here, and it's holding all of us up and all of our equipment. Very impressive. <laughs> seven minutes and counting, seven, six, wave. Second down and about 11. And still appears that Murlac's quarterback, but I can't. No, actually, DeHaan is actually fully taking over. Looks like his quarterback. One running back, May Rathjen. Two wide receivers to the left. Takes the snap. Looks. Throws to the left side. Actually, Murlac actually did take that one back. He wanted to rough in the passer. Nothing called. DeHaan was just lined up in the backfield as a running back. So an incomplete pass to DeHaan. It's now third down and long. About 11. 6.20, in, and not counting, excuse me. The clock, the clock stops due to the incomplete pass. Third down now. And long. And now a run to the right side. Oh, Deshaun Bloom. It looks like he had something going, but tripped and fell into the turf. Maybe got back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe at best. And actually did get to about the 21. So now it's going to be fourth and nine. And the Warriors will punt again. Overcast, but it doesn't look rainy. And we only had light sprinkles so far here. And now, to take the snap, will be to Han, rugby style. And that one might have gotten a piece of it. Flag of the play, roughing the punter. It's going to be a first down for the Warriors. The Warriors are going to get a first down out of this, folks. As there's a roughing the punter call. It's going to be first down, Warriors, once they... Automatic first down for the Warriors on the running the punter call. almost for the student section, it's almost turned to a social hour, it seems like now. The 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 up-and-coming chanting has kind of died, and it's just turned into a social event, but...
We're holding up the Spirit Cup. First and ten for the Warriors. They, the PA was congratulating us for our Spirit Cup victory. So, scream me on the broadcast, but that's all good. Glad you could join us here. First down and ten. Run to the outside. Bloom with it, making some nice cuts. Positive yardage. And gets about five. Oh, it'll be six yards, actually, so it'll be second and four from the 41-yard line. Huge break for the Warriors. They have possession. It looks like nothing was going their way, and they might actually have a drive going. 449 left here in the first half. Glad you could join us here on the Warrior Network. TV. Happy to announce that we are able, since we are partnered now with IJC.TV, we are allowed to broadcast I'd say state playoff games, starting with the boys' soccer, as Ratchet doesn't get much, actually lost a couple, third and long. And we'll actually be able to broadcast the boys' soccer regional starting Tuesday at 4 o'clock. They'll play the winner of the game, probably going on right now, between Harvest and Christian Liberty. And we will let you know. We'll, we'll update the online once we find out who indeed won that game. That game is in Arlington Heights. Hey, Warriors, third, down. third down and about five from the 43 40 and counting left now in the first half. Taking the snap. One receiver in motion. We're going to have a legal, uh, illegal formation here. Two players in motion. Or it might have been just the, the, the receiver in motion was not set. This is an arena football league where the player can constantly stay in motion, so that's probably what the call was. 3.33 left here in the first half, and a chilly, a chilly Monday, uh, Friday, well, what day is it? Friday afternoon. It's been a crazy week, folks. Homecoming week is arguably the best week of the school year. And if you haven't experienced it, then you might, might want to come and check it out. Oh, bad snap here to Han. This is going to be, he's just going to fall on it wisely. No, he lost the football again, and I think St. Edwards might have had it. DeHaan couldn't fully hold on to it. Yep, first down. He wisely tried just to dive on it, but he just, but he missed the ball there. And it's going to be first and uh, almost goal. Let's see. It's going to be first and 10 from the 11-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10. Actually, it's about the 10. Are they just going to drop the chains? They might. Yeah, they're just going to drop the chains. So it is going to be first. Yeah, it's literally at the 10. So it's going to be first and goal. Or they're actually going to say they can get to literally... And that's literally the goal line. It's literally first and goal. If the ball, apparently not, because the chains have not been dropped. If, I guess they can get to the, like, the half centimeter line, get a first down on this. Hand off to the left side, and taken down in the backfield. Grossman balls loose. It looks like St. Edwards has jumped on it. Huge, huge change in momentum there. This could potentially make this a eight-point game. Halftime festivities will be broadcasted live, starting off with the cheerleaders doing their routine, followed by the Powder Puff football game. There'll be no announcing since I'll be refing, but... I have my Ed Hockley look with my very tight-fit referee shirt. Ed Hockley will actually be featured on Sports Illustrated in the front cover. I'm not sure the last time there's been a, an official on the front cover. And dead ball, timeout, St. Ed's. 209 left in the first 676 uh, wave. We're back in a second here on the Edge State TV Network.
We are back live here. Third down, no, excuse me, second down. And about and goal from about the 12, short pass to the right side. And the running backs can get to, he's got a pile drive and he might have gotten to the end zone but he looks like he's gonna be just, no he's in, touchdown. Touchdown, Green Wave. And the score, Score is now 13 to 6. And now there'll be the point after kick. The PAT attempt here. The kick is up and it's good. Almost a block from Clay DeHaan there. But the kick is good. 14 6 is the score here on the Idaho State TV network. Stay tuned. A minute 59 left in the first half. We are live back here on the IJSA.TV network. And now the kick is blown off the tee. Just like in the pros, you might have to have a holder here if it doesn't, the ball does not obey. Actually, probably not obeying, but probably more weather effect. And now the kickoff, high in the air, and returnable caught cleanly there by DeHaan, asking for blockers, makes the move to the right, and taken down there. Maybe the 20, minute 54 and counting, the Warriors will see if they can get down the field. First and ten now for the Warriors. This is David. First down, 10 here for the Warriors. Taking the snaps, Murlock. He's still in the quarterback. Throws deep to the left side. Bloom's there. He's got it. About a 30 yard pass laterally, but. Oh, we're going to rule the complete. Well, still about a 30 part yard pass laterally, but it's still only going to be about four yards vertically. And it will be. Second down, minute 45 left here in the first half on the IHSA.TV Warrior Network. And they're about ready to snap it here. And about ready to take the snap here. is DeHaan, no, excuse me, Murlach. He again looks to the left side. DeHaan's gonna make a hard play on it. Incomplete, third down. Minute 39 now in the first half.
We're back here. First down. I see the third down for the Warriors. Third and ten. On the 25-yard line, here's a snap. Murlock looks to the left side and a slant caught by Battle. He's chugging. He has more than a first down. He gets to the 40-yard line about. Time's the ticking, though. They might have used their timeout. Yes, they have. The chain, the clock stops with the change. Now they're going to call a timeout. Timeout called. Minute 30, le minute 31 left here in the first half. 14-6 to score in favor of St. Ned's here on the United States TV Network. Picture of me or who? Referee shirt, referee shirt, got my whistle. Here's our flag. Punky, now you're using the flag. <laughs> it's cold, we gotta do something. We're live back here. The Warriors are going to try to beat the clock here. Minute 31. Two timeouts left. About ready to take the snap. Here is DeHaan's going to take the snap. Here, kind of doing a co-quarterback thing. Throw to the left side deep. This is trouble. And dropped. Oh, could have been a pick. Uh, picked at six. Not six, but interception at least. Huge drop there. Gives the Warriors a chance here from the 40-yard line of their own. A minute 26 remaining here in the first half. Second down and 10 from the 40-yard line. Minute 26. Clock is stopped. We got another half of football after the uh, halftime show. Remember, halftime will include the, the cheerleading squad doing their thing and then the mom's powder puff game. And waiting to snap here. I believe it's Murlock again. They've been kind of both been going quarterback to me. Handoff, fake handoff, now boot. I think it was a fake handoff one way, handoff the other way. Clock stops, third down, timeout, Westminster. From the 40, minute 17 left here on the HJ.TV network, 14 16 Edwards. Do you want to? <laughs> Third down here. And a snap. Couple step drop, throw over to the left side. That's trouble. And it is picked indeed. Intercepted at the 45 yard line. Aaron Weevil will now take the call for the remainder of the first half as I gotta get down for this powder puff game. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We just witnessed a St. Ed's interception. The ball was only thrown about five yards, but we had a diving player get the ball. There's the snap. Number four, he walks back. Lines up, guns it down the field, and is caught 
by number 81. That is a gain of about 10, 20, 35, 35 yards. First and goal, ball on the four or five yard line with a minute 04 to go in the game. Might I remind you that we have volleyball games tonight at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and our varsity game at 7 o'clock, all versus St. Ed's. And the soccer game tomorrow, don't forget, 11 in the morning. St. Ed's runs it in, and they have a touchdown. Touchdown, St. Ed's. Impressive run as, hey, Warrior fans, as we have he to ran through multiple Warrior Kansas defenders State and got six. Extra point is good for St. Ed's. We have a score of St. Ed's 21, Warriors 6, with 38.6 seconds to go in the second quarter. Don't forget that at halftime we do have the Moms Powder Puff football game, high school parents against the middle school parents, moms to be exact. Fans, if for any reason you have to miss any of the action tonight, we want to let you know volleyball is also going to be streamed on IHSA.tv backslash Westminster as well as soccer tomorrow. Check it out and support your Warriors. Both teams line up for the kickoff. Kicker assumes his position. And it's up. Low kick. Bobbled. Number 21. There's a flag on the play as they eat number 21 up. Good kick recovered on St. Ed's. Fans, don't forget, we got plenty for you to take in at the game today. Not only do we have concessions, spirit wear, but we also have Woodstock Harley-Davidson down in the West End Zone. I'd like to thank you, Woodstock Harley-Davidson, as our sponsors, bringing out a ton of fun out here. It's a great night, other than the weather, but it's great atmosphere. Love being up here right now. Can't decide what the penalty is, but the Warriors look to be backed up within their 10. Within their 5, even. Audible. He's running. Quarterback's gone. He's got maybe 2, 3, oh, oh, thrown back for maybe a gain of 3 or 4. Ian Murlock with the carry. We're gonna let the clock wind down as we approach halftime. The, the score: St. Ed's 21, the Warriors six. Still tons in store. Never know what may happen in the next two quarters. But right now, let's tune in to our Powder Puff, Powder Puff, Mom's football game. Just kidding. We're gonna. Watch the cheerleading performance.
Y'all can't bring it up. Cheerleaders, Olivia Zahara, Carrie O'Brien, Skylar Sunday, Susie Thompson, Kelsey Albrecht, Ellie Tabor. Cheerleaders are coached by Miss Carrie Ludwig. Let's hear it for your winner. down a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, Austin! Woo! Is that funky? Woo! <laughs> Yo, that was sucks. I just killed her. <laughs> if I was like streaming all the all the streaming thing. Gentlemen, as you can see on the field, we have referee Austin Anderson and teacher referee Mark Funkhauser. Let's check out as the middle school moms take on the high school moms. Our high school moms are coached by a mom. Go figure. It looks like our high school moms are going to start on offense. On their own 15 yard line.
Looks like we already have a substitution. Mrs. Brandon in for another mom. Go pass it off. Go pass it off. She's gone. Oh, she's taking off. She's gone. She's gone. No one's grabbing it. No, she's in. She's oh, out of bounds. Touchdown. Out of bounds at the one yard line. Good call by Austin Anderson. Does not miss much for his Hawkeyes. Thank you for Chick-fil-A coming out to our game, serving us food, wonderful food. We have tons of other supporters, Harley, Davidson, McHenry, and a peanut factory name that I do not remember. There is Mr. Eat More Chicken. Harry Lynn Nuts, that is what it's called. We have a, we have a drop pass. We have a drop pass. Tons of chaos in the middle of the end zone there, but did not result in much. Third down and two, or third down and goal, whatever you like to say. The snap is back. Crazy hair lines up. Laser Rockets catches it. Touchdown, middle school. That is impressive. All right, so high school moms are up seven nothing as we get set. Oh, just kidding. Maybe that was high school moms. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe that was maybe that was high school moms. I don't know who the teams are anymore. High school moms captain Nick Lou Davis is giving some instructions here. Looks like that was a high school moms touchdown. That was a high school moms touchdown. The seven zero high school. Middle school. Lines up, throws, drops pass. It was a close call. Couldn't tell whether the ball hit the ground or not, but we do have the call by Mr. Funkhauser. It was incomplete. I don't know if it's fair or not, but doesn't look like some of these players have flags on. But I guess it really doesn't matter in a powder puff game right now. For it's all for the fun and enjoyment. All right, second down for the middle school. Second down for the middle school moms may have been offsides, but oh, oh, we have. We have, we have a false start, middle school moms. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. No, it's going to be maybe a two and a half yard. If The pass, Interce almost intercepted. Good defense play. Fourth down, are they gonna go for it? I think they're gonna go for it. They line up across the line of scrimmage. Snaps back. Checks. That is incomplete. A little short on the pass. Can't blame the players. It's a little bit chilly out here. It's like 40, maybe 46, 47 degrees. It's pretty cold out here. And we're gonna have the high school moms take over. Again, make sure you're checking out our uh, already up 7-0. If you're not out here, there's a lot of cool stuff over here. It's a car show, it's a motorcycle show. We got this fancy scoreboard, we got some peanuts for free, some Chick-fil-A, we got this concession stand, this crazy cow that I can't seem to find. We are almost done with this halftime show for the teams look to be returning to their respective sides. Still 7-0 high school moms. Lines up, heaves it, 
good 15 yards, and it is caught. That is an easy 15 yards right there. That was a good catch. That was a diving catch right there. I don't know how she found her over the defense of Looming. And dropped pass in the end zone. Still 7-0 high school bombs. We have third down. Third down and goal. Third down and four to go to the goal. They got a drawn up play right now. It looks like they're going to hand it up. And she... Zero yards, possibly. <laughs> Two seconds. One second. That is the end of the game. Congratulations, high school moms, for winning seven. Zero. Competitive game, score but doesn't show it all obviously. It was very exciting to watch. Thank you for watching as we will soon return to our homecoming matchup, St. Ed's. Still on top 21 to the Warriors 6. I'd like to thank you for listening. Kind of short notice, but we will have Austin Anderson, the main man, eight train with his own broadcast show back. You have great announcing. We have our high school team coming back onto the field, the Westminster Warriors. Fans, we also want to remind you, we do have some other events coming up here.
All right, thanks to Aaron Weevil. That was a hoot, I must tell you. Fortunately, I can only throw the rubber chicken once, Matt, but or else, I mean, that was some fun times. All right, the return, short kick, minimal return, about the 38-yard line. Anderson on the tackle, 81 on the carry. And it will be All right, thank you, John. Courtesy Peanuts here up in the uh, press box. That's what we get for working. All right, here we go. Fun times up here in the announcer booth for sure. First down and 10, actually on the dugout. It's not even a booth, it's a dugout. This is, this is great. Good times, here we go. First down and 10. Pass to the right side in the screen. Bobbled and somehow caught. Well, this actually might be for a loss of yards. There's a whole host of Warriors on the tackle. Yeah, make that a three-yard loss. Might as well should have dropped that there. Number 85, Bloom, in on the tackle. And a whole host of Warriors come over to help. All right. Second down. And about 13. Some fans are already heading in to see some of the volleyball action. They had enough of this cold. They're like, all right, one half's good enough. Nine twenty left here in the first half. Twenty one six is the score. A snap to the hand uh, the quarterback, hands it off, off to the left side, and getting a little gain to about the forty one yard line, and then he splits the difference there, it's gonna be third down and about seven. Third down, third and eight. Third down and eight here. Reminder coming up right after this is the volleyball game. Actually more like seven, seven thirty-ish. Pass deep to the left side and it's caught. And getting a first down and much more, breaking a couple of tackles and finally being brought down is the receiver. Catch made by number 28 for St. Edwards. Will Rathjen with that one. So first and 10 from the 38 of the Warriors. Seven minutes, 58 seconds, counting left here in the third quarter. Pitch to the left side. The big running back takes it, and he is going for a while. Takes a while to take down the running back. We don't have a height and weight, but this kid must be a good 6'3", 6'4", 250. This guy is a monster. Um, I'm bad with weights, but maybe 190. I, I exaggerate the 250. Football pads make it a lot. But compared to the other running backs, he is... Getting through. Here's the snap. Hand off off the middle. This running back is getting some decent yardage. Number 40 with that one. Again, Shane Buddish. And he's only a freshman. He's got a All right, so And player moves on the front line and that's going to be an offside. Offside the call on the Warriors. It'll bring it to first and 5. First and 5 now as the Chick-fil-A mascot's making his rounds. Closest one here is probably Schaumburg. If we could get a camera on the Chick-fil-A mascot, that'd be great. Well, now there's a play going. Now a run to the left side. Runner still going. And 
Ball's loose in the end zone, almost in the end zone. Picked up by the Warriors, I believe. It is. I think Travis Battle has the ball at the one yard. That's a confusing play. But to, the Warriors recover, but it's a matter of where. I guess it's at the two yard line, so it's first and 10 for the Warriors. Recovery by Travis Battle. And it's now first down and 10. And yes, just for proof, the Chick-fil-A mascot is here. Eat more chicken indeed. No lie, Chick-fil-A is making its way up here and the mascot is here. Again, reminder. Reminder that the volleyball game is right after this, it's about seven-ish. And then tomorrow, and tomorrow, there'll be the soccer game. And now it will be first and five after the offsides call against St. Edwards. 5.56 now left in the third quarter. And the snap here coming from Murlac. But one player's in motion before that. And a pitch now to the left side of DeHaan. He's getting some positive yardage on that one. And he gets to the 25. And it's a second down now. And about five from the 25 yard line. Couple St. Edwards, it's definitely a blitz coming through. And nowhere to go there. St. Ed's knew something was happening, so they just sent a full out blitz. And it's now third down. And about seven. So we went from first and five, second and six, now third and seven. And the Warriors will have to get some good offense going here. Third down now and about seven from the 23-yard line. Good to be here on the IHSA.TV network. And now another flag. And another offside, so now it's third and two. Third down and short. It's now third down and about two after the on offsides. And a snap to come here. And uh, they're going to try to pile it up the middle. And it's going to be pretty close, but it still seems like they're going to be, they got one to the knee two. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth down now for the Warriors. And snap to come. Fourth down and one. You got to go. Uh, they're going to punt it, it looks like. No, it's a fake. Good call. And he's going to get enough on the outside. I think he has. Yes, he does. First down for the Warriors. Fake punt work to perfection as they gained about three. First down and ten here. 
21-6 is the score. And here's the snap to come. Snap to come. It's going to be a throw. Anderson throws that one. It's going to be incomplete. And now the Chick-fil-A mascot's having a little fun with the St. Edwards sideline. Second down now, and 10 for the Warriors. 21-6 is the score. And now the snap to come. Throwing to the left side, tipped up in the air, and it's incomplete. It's going to be now third down and 10. 238 and count and excuse me not counting clock stopped at 238 clock stopped officials time out here as there's an injured warrior on the field we'll be back here in a minute here on the warriors radio network let you know who it is We're back. Third down and about 10. Snap to come, throw to the right side, drop by Bloom. Fourth down. Fourth down now for the Warriors from the 31 yard line. Fourth down from the 31 yard line. Snap to come. It's a punt. And it gets about 25 yards down the field. Now the returner's got some room. He's got a couple blocks. And now he's spinning around in circles doing a Devin Hester thing. Trying to get some more yardage. But actually going to lose a little bit. A net yardage of the punt after the return is about 10. First and 10 from the 40 two-yard line, 43 maybe. And now it will be first and ten for St. Ed's. And we just have technical difficulties. We'll be right back.
right, technical difficulties are taken care of. Actually, what just happened, I'm going to be totally honest, the camera completely flipped off the dugout. But we are still working here, and the camera is... Yeah, hallelujah, as Tim Rogers says over here to my left. I mean, it's, I mean, that thing took a tumble about five feet down, but hey, we're here. Camera looks like it's fine. They're moving down the field now, St. Ed's. <laughs> First down and ten. Hand off to the right side. Gain of a couple. It's Get you about the ten. It'll be second down and six. No, it's been an eventful day here at homecoming, that's for sure. Reminder me, this is it's not even half over. I mean we're I mean we're in the last minute here in the third quarter. Second down and six now. I mean the volleyball game's coming up after at this about seven o'clock. Seven seven to seven thirty, I think. Probably seven yeah, it's gonna be closer to seven thirty. A pass on the left side, it's Incomplete as the quarterback trying to get a throw off. 36.3 left here in the third. Third down now, and about six or so at the 10 yard line. The camera's still here with us, so we're still broadcasting. Thirty-six point three left, twenty-one six to score. And it's gonna be a handoff to the right side. Makes a nice cutback, says the running back, and he's thrown down. How close is he to the end zone? A little bit short. First and goal though as he moves the sticks. All right, 12 seconds and counting left in the third quarter. No rush here for the green wave. And they might be content on just letting this clock go. It's going to be a race. Then they might actually be trying to snap. But they do get the snap off. Hand off to the left side. Can the running back get through enough? He does. He's still on his feet somehow. Did he get in? Yes, touchdown, St. Edwards. And the Warriors' deficit now increases to 27-6. to six. Point after touchdown to come. 5.30. Now on the third, just a kick to come. 5.35 here in the afternoon. And the snap is down. Kick is on its way. And it's blocked. The kick is blocked. Clay DeHaan got in there and spiked the ball down along with Drew Dahlman. And that'll end the third with a score of 27 to 6 in favor of St. Edwards here on the, on the IHSA.TV Warrior Network. We are back here on the IJSA.TV Warrior Network. And the kick. Deep. And it's returnable at the 20. To the 25 to the 30. Out the middle, Sahan, he's got some room, makes a couple of cuts, and he's going to approach midfield. Nicely done to the 49, and first down for the Warriors. Hey, 
9.52 and counting left, not counting, excuse me, clock stop here in the fourth quarter. And first down time for the Warriors. Two wide receivers now spread. Snap to come. And pass to the right side, incomplete. Now second down now for the Warriors. Second down for the Warriors here. Nine forty-eight left here. Second down and ten from the forty-six yard line. Snap to come here. And two wide three wides out now. And stops in play. Flag thrown. Probably delay of game if it comes this late and there's no motion yet. No, actually we had false start on the offense. And the Warriors will take the snap here. Second down now and 15 from the 41 yard line. 9.48 to go. Waiting for the snap now here is Murdelak. He hands off to the right side to DeHaan. Nice block. And DeHaan's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage and maybe a little bit more to the 48. Clock is stopped because the runner went out of bounds here. 9.30 left here in regulation. Warriors trail 27 to 6. Nine forty remaining. Ten minute quarters. Waiting for the snap. Here it's to come. Two wide receivers flank out. Murlac. The snap. Here it comes. Pass to the left side on a screen. Caught by DeHaan. He's going to make some moves. Got a nice block. He's close to the first down marker. And he's going to be just short. But at this point, you're down 27 to 6. So you kind of have to go for it. Murlac comes back into the game. And it's going to be here. Fourth, and they reposition the spot. So it's fourth and maybe about two. Clock stops, and timeout to Westminster. We're back in the second, 27-6 in favor of St. Edwards. Here on the I just say that TV Warrior Network. We're back here. It's fourth down and two. Ah. Oh, and 
9.09 left here in the fourth quarter. Second down pad up right the middle. Rafting has to be one more tackle. There he goes. 15, 10, 5, end zone. <laughs> See you later. Will Rafton with the touchdown, but there's a flag on the field. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Let's see if they're going to count it still. In college, that would be not a score. Let's see. Touchdown is good. The referees do give him the touchdown. So the PAT, they're either going to mark back the PAT. Sportsman like conduct called against Will Rathjen for waving at the defender as he scores the touchdown. All right, so they're going to move it back 15 for the PAT, which is going to make this very interesting. So the Warriors pull within 27 to 12. And the play clock's a ticking here. And they're going to go for a long two-point conversion all the way out to the 15-yard line. And snap to come here. One receiver in motion, that's a flag. That's a legal motion. They're gonna try they're gonna make the play. Murdoch's gonna run. He's gonna be short anyways, but that's gonna Yeah, legal shift on the offense. Penalties decline. And now And now it's gonna be a kickoff coming. Eight fifty eight left here. A58 left, 27-12 is the score. 27-12, 15-point game. Two possessions. You're borderline onside kicking here, but probably not. All right. Snap to come for the kickoff here. The player places on the tee, Demera. Kickoff to come. And the kickoff for Demera. And the kickoff it is an onside attempt. Bobble picked up by looks like the Warriors. A huge pile on the field. It looks like Dahan thinks the, it's the Warriors football. It is. The Warriors successfully use the onside kick. Clay Dahan with the recovery. 8.53 left. Eight fifty three left here in the fourth quarter. Let's see how this will transpire here. The Warriors are back in, two scores down and the ball. Eight fifty three left. If they can score fast, they might not even need onside kick it. Let's see what happens here. Beautifully executed onside kick there. And Murlock he should have snapped it. Murlock would have drawn an Offsides, but instead he's going to hand off the bloom to the outside. If he can bring a tackle. Oh, what a great shoestring tackle there by the St. Edwards defensive player, Dwayne Allen, the defensive back, saved from a one yard instead of a 10 yard and 15 yard gain, made only one. 8.36 left here in the fourth quarter. Warriors trail 27 to 12.
It's still a two-possession game, but one of the two scores must be a two-point conversion to tie it. The Warriors still trail by 15. Hand off to the right side to Han, and he's going to get smothered. Gonna lo lose some yardage there. And it's going to be third down. They're actually not going to, they are going to lose about four yards or so. And snap to come here. Seven twenty-eight and counting. Third down and about twelve. The Warriors are gonna need to do something here. Travis battle on the outside, they're gonna throw a slant pass over the middle, and it's incomplete. A little outstretched of Travis Battle. And it's now fourth down. Fourth down and about 13 or so. Our graphics manager, John Warrow, says it's about 12. So I'll roll with that. Reminder that tonight's volleyball game at 7.30 will be broadcasted live. And the soccer game tomorrow at 11, weather permitting, will be broadcasted live. A snap, pitch to the left side. Han's going to throw. Here he goes. Winds up, throws deep down the right side. It's going to be way past the original quarterback, Ian Murlack, and a turnover on downs. And St. Edwards is going to try. Is going to go on offense here and try to grind a lot of ground yards and take the clock down. 27-12 is the score. Seven oh four left here in the game. Warriors trail twenty seven to twelve. Time's a ticking against the Warriors. Clock hasn't started yet since it was off the turnover on downs. Snap comes, hand off up the gut. Minimal gain. Second down now in about six. 6.53 and counting left here in the fourth quarter. Hey, 6.40 and counting now, 27 to 12. We 27-12. Clocks. A taken 625 and counting. You only have three timeouts, so you can only, only stop one set of downs from the clock ticking. And not surprisingly, St. Edwards is going to run again. The running back bounced on the outside, and there he goes. First down and more to the 36-yard line. Clock stops for the chain gang to move the chains. And it'll now be... First down and 10 from the 35, 34-yard line. Player uh, Fans are starting to head towards the volleyball game, realizing that it's getting pretty cold in this game. The Warriors are trying to get back into it, but St. Edwards is taking the clock down here. Hand off to the right side. The Running back, try it. nice strip attempt, but by number 32 for the Warriors, Chad Christensen. A good try to try to strip the ball out, but nothing doing. Second down and about six now from the 35-yard, uh, excuse me, the 30-yard line. 521 and counting. Clock is running.
Couple wide receivers out. 505 and counting. Quarterback's not rushing. Taking a sweet time. And why wouldn't you? But the delay of game a quarter happened first though. The Warriors catch a break there. So now it's gonna be second down and ten back at the thirty actually second eleven back from the thirty-five. Second down and eleven. Reminder, the varsity volleyball game will be broadcasted live here on the Agitate.tv network. Football game here. Winding down, 448 left. Here, ball's loose on... What a tackle, but ball's loose. Who picked up this fumble? Six, sleeting. sleeting with the tackle. Michael Sleeting with the tackle. Two players going at it. And who has the football? St. Edwards does. Well, that would have been a huge turnover there. Clock's going now, 430 and counting. Third down. And now it's fourth down here, and about 17. Third down. 4.09 and counting. Clock's a ticking on this game. The fans have probably, the student section at least has probably decreased by half. A lot of them actually were volleyball players. And they got a game tonight in which we're covering here live on the United States TV Warrior Network at 7.30 Central Time. Handoff stopped there. 348 now and counting. Fourth down. The Warriors are going to let the clock run as of now. Fourth and 13. Three thirty and counting now. Three, I mean, couple of uh, coverage players on the outside for this punt attempt. A low punt, but it's gonna actually get a lot of bouncing yardage. Picked up there by DeHaan. He's gonna try to get through, but he's not gonna get much. But actually, he'll get pretty close to the. Original line of scrimmage back at the 23 yard line. First and 10 for the Warriors. First and 10 from the 25 yard line. Clay Hahn again on the ground. Hurt, he gets back out. 3.04 left in regulation, 27-12. Again, being reminded of how the NHL is locked out thanks to the Chelsea Dagger. First down and 10 from the 24 yard line. Murlac take the snap, couple wide out, actually three in a uh, tight package. It's gonna be a screen pass, ball is dropped. Is that forwards? That's the question, doesn't matter because the Warriors picked it up anyways. They're gonna rule the complete with three minutes. And second down now, second and 10 from the 23. Twenty-seven to twelve is the score. Three minutes left here. Three minutes exactly left on the clock. Murlock to snap, throws a pass, uh, pitch back. How's he gonna throw deep? A decent pass, and they have a chance at it, and it's incomplete. A jump ball at about midfield incomplete. 2.53 now left. Here. Two 
2.53 now left here in the regulation. Warriors trail 27 to 12. Warriors, 2.53. Wind's starting to howl a little bit. Snap here to come. Starting a little windy and fans are starting to head towards the gym. Hand off to the left side. Two forty four and counting. Coach Davis isn't worried about the time right now. He's just going to try to get his team to play some good offense here. <laughs> 223 and counting. We're going to end this, once the game ends, we're going to get off pretty quickly here because we got to get down to the gym to start setting up for the volleyball game. And you'll have to open the new tab for the volleyball game. This is its own separate entity. And now, snap, Murlach looking to screen to the left side, caught by DeHaan, stays in bounds, ball loose. Uh, then they're going to rule. <laughs> Minute 44 now left, penalty on the play, I believe. <laughs> Oh, they're going to say that was a turnover. Oh, it's turnover right now. Thank you. Help there. So it didn't matter anyways what happened there. So they're going to give him the ball at the 30-yard line. Let's see. Hey, Warrior fans, don't forget there's still plenty of great Warrior action this weekend. We do have volleyball going on this evening, as well as a soccer match on tomorrow. Both on the internet. On Both on the internet. And now a fumble on the snap. The Warriors might have recovered. They have. Warrior football. Minute 40 left. Let's see what they can do here. Michael Sleeting on the recovery. Here we go, Warriors with one last chance. Only a quick score and an onside. And now the players are getting 31 yard line. Merle to take the snap. Let's see what the Warriors can do here. They're looking in trouble. Pass the right side. Incomplete to Deshaun Bloom. Minute 35 left. Minute 35 left. Minute 35 left and counting. Second down now and 10 for the Warriors. Murlach to take the snap. Battle in motion. Takes it. Murlach in trouble. Scramble. Throws to the right side and complete the battle. And it's now third down. Third down. A reminder that 
Tonight's volleyball game and the football game will be live here on ITA.TV slash Westminster Christian. Snap here. Good player in motion. Bloom jumps. Must have not read the snap. He was a good five yards before that ball was snapped. That's going to be false start. Oh, actually, he was drawn by... He was drawn by the corner, apparently. That's going to be an offsides call, so it's going to be third down and five. Smart move then by Bloom to move. Won the defense. Cause that's a neutral zone infraction call. And third and six. Third down here. Six to go. Third and 15 now for the Warriors. Third and 15 from the 26. Snap to come from Murlac. Battle of motion. Gonna pass to the left side, Bloom, incomplete. Good attempt, he had to reach up pretty high. Minute 24 now left here in the fourth. 27-12's the score. They'll go for it here. Final countdown being played. This is the Warriors' last battle cry here, and then this, the St. Knights can probably just knee it out. They need 15. And the Warriors will take a timeout to see what they can do here. So, minute 24 left, 27 12 in favor of the, uh, excuse me, the Wave here on the ITA.TV Warrior Network. We're back here, fourth down. This will, this is really the Warriors' last chance here. And then we'll head down to the gym for a 7.30 volleyball start and we'll be live. All right, here, so. Fourth down, one receiver in motion. And now here's Travis Ben on the outside. He makes a cut. There he goes. Did he, how far did he get? And they're saying he stepped out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Turnover of downs. And now St. Edwards can wrap it up with a couple set of knees. All right here, so... Minute 18 left. Snap to come. And they'll take a couple set of knees. So, first knee is snapped. They're going to take one more before this game ends. So let me say our wrap-up comments so as soon as the clock strikes zero, we'll stop it. Because we got to get moving here. We've got a, a lot of events here on homecoming weekend. And we'll be live for the 7.30 start. 
So thanks again to Tim Rogers and his crew up here. John Waro. Tim Rogers and Aaron Weevil on the camera. Aaron Weevil with the couple minutes of the call there. John Waro with the graphics. And they are under 40 seconds. And that hey, fans, will do it. Third down now. And they're not going to have to take another snap, I believe. Or they're maybe they're going to take one more for good measure. Or not. That is it. So that will do it. Your final score is the Warriors, uh, St. Edwards 27 and Westminster 12. This is the IJ State TV Warrior Network. Austin Harrison saying so long.